Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite risotto. Red wine risotto with mushroom and bacon. So let's don't waste time and get started. And the first thing I have to do is to prepare shallots and bacon for my risotto base. So I get one shallot and chop it really fine. And then I'm gonna chop bacon to small dices as well. You can really adjust the amount of the bacon for your preference. I like bacon a lot, so I put good amount. And let's start to cook it. I put a little bit of vegetable oil inside the pot and I cook the bacon on medium heat until I get nice color. In a few minutes, I put my shallots in and I'm gonna keep cooking. For classic risotto, you wanna make everything just translucent and light. But for this risotto with bacon, I like to give nice color to everything. You get much better taste like this. For the last minute, I put my rice in and I mix it with bacon fat. At this time, I also put some thyme in. And now I can finally put red wine in. I season it with salt and pepper and I'm gonna cook it on low heat until the red wine is gonna be reduced. My rice is cooking, so now I can make easy parsley chips. So I have one big parsnip here, so I'm gonna peel it first. And then I use peeler to make nice big peels. My oil is already hot, so I can put the peels inside and I'm gonna fry it slowly until I get nice crisps. Now I just transfer them on paper towel, season them with salt and they are ready for the plating. Red wine is ready used now, so I can start adding my chicken stock. Just don't put too much at the start because you're gonna overcook your rice. Keep adding the stock part by part as you need. And for my garnish, I want to use some mushrooms. So I have here some small bottom mushrooms. So I just cut them in the half and finish them on the pan. The stock is reduced, but the rice is still not cooked enough. So I put a little bit more stock in and I'm gonna keep cooking. So the rice is almost cooked, so let's finish the mushrooms. I put a little bit of the vegetable oil inside the pan and I'm gonna cook my mushrooms on high heat. At this time, is my rice cooked enough? So I'm gonna finish it with parmesan cheese and butter. When you put butter in, make sure you turn off the heat and just emulsify the butter slowly in. If you don't do it and you keep cooking the risotto on high heat, your risotto gets split. The mushrooms have a nice color now, so I'm gonna turn them around. Season them with salt and pepper and they will be ready for the plating in a few minutes. If you see that your risotto gets a little bit too thick at the end, just add a little bit more of the stock and let's do the plating. And the plating will be very simple today. I start with good amount of my red wine risotto with bacon and thyme. I spread it nicely and then put my mushrooms on the top. Now I can put few parsnip chips. And I'm gonna finish it with some fresh parsley leaves. And that's it guys. This is my favorite red wine risotto. And which risotto is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn more about finding and cooking or get my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, check out the links in the description below. 
That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.